All right, seeing as I'm trying to make videos again, I figured uh, here's one I run into. Just about every time you change your fuel filter out or somebody runs out of fuel, the old dreaded crank, crank, crank. No start with the fuel system. So what we're gonna do here is on any of these old mechanically injected ones, we've got our feed line from the bottom of the tank down to our filter head, and we have technically our suction here. Mechanical fuel pump. Mechanical fuel pump builds the low pressure, goes into the uh, <coughs> injection pump here, excuse me. Right here, we have our return line. So we've got a return line off of here, here, goes back to the top of the tank. So you could sit here and you can, and you'll get a little start here or there, or you can find your return line. Doesn't really matter where you do it. Don't fully collapse it, just part way. Throw your throttle up there. Boom, done, easy bleed. No cracking injection lines, no none of that. What you're doing is by restricting this partially, it's forcing a little bit of air out through the injectors. Bleeds it out 10 times faster than any other way. It's easy, it's simple, no special tools needed. And on any of these mechanical, mechanical injected ones, pump line nozzle, so PLNs, pump line, nozzle it really does not do any damage to them um, they're robust enough they can handle a little bit of air shooting through there so like I said just if you're having trouble priming one bleeding it out just change the filter ran out of fuel find your return line partially crimp it off allow a little bit of flow back you don't want to build up too much back pressure that'll cause other issues and nine times out of ten it'll start within two to three revolutions It'll start real low power, and then it'll pick the RPM right up, and you're done.